All right, welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how to make uh, prepackaged Mixamo libraries for yourself that you can reuse over and over again on your own characters uh, as long as they have this common skeleton map. And so as an example, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration and then I'll move on to the longer tutorial showing you how to do it, how to make your own libraries in full. But basically, you, you can, you'll be able to take any character, one that you've made or using one of the Mixamo ones. You'll download their T-Pose. You'll be able to bounce over to Mixamo, drop them in, You'll double click your character, click their skeleton, uh, remap it to this bone map, re import. I'll drop in this character and resize the transform so you can see them, and I'll make them local. And you'll see that their animation player right now is empty. They've got nothing but this T pose. Uh, but I've got in here a locomotion library that I'll make later on in this video, as well as other libraries. I've got a stealth library here about their animations. You'll be able to click animation, manage animations, load library. I'll click on the locomotion library and OK. And now this character has suddenly all these extra animations. He's got an idle animation. He's got, you know, jumping. He's got running. And I've got, you know, other animations that I've made from, you know, days ago. I'll, I'll load animation. I'll load another one here. We'll load up uh, the stealth animation. So now suddenly he's got all these stealth animations that I prepared earlier. Crouch walk. And this can apply to any character at any size as long as you've given them that Mixamo bone map here in, uh, in Godot, they'll be able to inherit these animations. So I'll take you through the rest of the process right now. I'll leave these steps in the GitHub page as well so that it's easy for you to follow step by step uh, the process and you won't have to watch this video every time. All right, welcome to the uh, Mixamo library tutorial. I want to show you how to take Mixamo animations and turn them into libraries that you can then apply and retarget to any character model uh, that you have in, in, in Godot. So here we go. Uh, my preference is to pull up a generic body. So I usually will type in the Ybot. And I will use this generic character as the base for where I'm going to stack all the animations to create the library. I'll download that in regular T-Pose. No animations applied. Then I'll go over to the animations and let's make a basic locomotion packet. So let's make like a, a walk action. Let's grab a generic walk. Download that without skin. And uh, you'll saw, see that I clicked on in place. By having it be in place, you avoid a lot of root motion issues. Like if your character is walking around, uh, that's gonna make it difficult for your collision shape. You have to remap stuff. So I always click in place if they have it because that makes it a lot easier and saves you some work. Let's get a run. Maybe this good sprint. All right, again, I'll click in place. Looks good. Download without skin. We just need the animation data. Let's give him a jump. And my personal preference for jumps, uh, I don't like the wind up and the landing. I, it makes it kind of harder to work with since the game engine is going to manage a lot of transitions for us. So uh, I will actually trim this down quite a bit and try to grab it just so it's right after his feet leave the floor. That way it works for like the transition from gravity taking over and them just being a falling action. Um, and I also don't like to have the coming down action. I like to catch it just them reaching the top of their, their jump. And I will let the game engine manage the transitions for me. So there we go. Download that. Uh, let's also get a strafe. Let's get a strafe run. We'll grab a left strafe, make sure it's in place. It's kind of a dopey run, but that's okay. Download. We'll mirror that. And with this, let's see, what do we have? We need an idle as well. Let's have an idle warrior, because that one has good breathing action. There we go. You can see that they're idle. I'll grab that. All right, so now we have the basic actions for a basic locomotion packet and a Ybot FBX that we can use to stack everything into. So let's bounce over to Blender. Uh, I will delete everything. File, import, and I will grab just the Ybot at first to make things easier. Uh, and then I will make a new collection of everything else. Let's call this else, where I'll import the rest of our FBXs, all the animation FBXs just to keep them separate from the uh, the original Ybot that has the skin. And even just to make things easier to see, I like to hide all those guys. They're still here, I'm just not looking at them. Let's bounce over to Animation tab, 
click the drop down, select non-linear animation, and this first one that's here is our T-pose. So I'll double click and type T-pose and push that down. That animation is now part of this character. Uh, to grab the other ones that are part of these other animations, just hit the N key, N like Nancy, and you'll see this little mini menu comes up. And from this drop down, we can select the animations on the other armatures. So I'll select the first one and I'll hit spacebar to see what it is. This is our uh, idle animation. So I'll click idle dash loop. By adding dash loop, it tells Godot to make this a looping animation. That way you don't have to click the button later on. I'll push that down. We'll grab the next one. This is our strafe right. So I will do uh, run, no, let's go strafe, run, right, dash, loop. Just to make it nice and clear later on. Strafe, run, left, dash, loop. Push it down. Uh, we have a our jump. It's a one shot, so no need to tell it loop. Uh, we'll, here's our run dash loop. Push it down. And last is our walk dash loop. And push it down. So now all these animations are part of our first armature. We can now right click the else collection and uh, delete hierarchy. Getting rid of all that, we now just have our armature with all these animations as part of it. Uh, personal preference, I like to click on the, uh, the very first track, the T-Pose, right click it, track ordering to the top. I feel like that's going to avoid issues later on if skeletons are always in the T-Pose as their primary animation. It may not matter, but I like to think it does. So I always put that right at the top. I'll export this out as a GLB. Um, and I don't like to keep the materials, so I will click Geometry and Materials Placeholder because I don't really feel like this. This guy's just going to be a quick library. I don't really need him. I don't need his materials to slow down this process. Uh, I'll toss him in the Downloads folder. I'll name him YBot Packed because I've packed him full of animations. Now we're ready to bounce over to Godot. In Godot, we'll drag and drop in our YBot that's packed, as well as uh, the bone map, Mixmo bone map here from the GitHub page. This was again made from a fine point CGI. Mitch over there made this bone map that makes this whole making of libraries so much easier. Um, so we'll drag and drop that bone map into the scene as well. We'll right, uh, we'll double click the YBot packed, click on skeleton, bone map, quick load that Mixamo bone map, re-import. We'll then uh, drag and drop this guy in. I'm going to reset his transform so you can see him a little bit better. Uh, I will right click and make him local and I will save this as a scene. Now we'll be able to click on the animation editor. We can make sure these animations work. We can see him idle looping, can see the jump, run, uh, everything is working properly. So I can click animation. Uh, this is the step where you'll actually make the library that you'll be able to reuse on other characters. You'll click animation, manage animations, and right here at the top where it says global, click the save icon, save as, and I'm going to name this uh, locomotion library. library. And I will save. And now we have a resource file that can be put on other characters and other bodies. And as long as they have the Mixamo skeleton, we can remap it. So uh, let's make an example of that. I'm going to close that out. So now no nodes are open. Let's grab another character with a completely different body type. So even though, as long as the skeleton's the same, it should work fine. So let's grab this big warrior beast. Okay. And I don't want him doing animations. So I'm going to click this X and bring him back to his normal T pose and hit download. He's going to come in as an FBX, and I like to use GLBs in my project, so I'm going to bounce over to Blender real quick, and I'll do a new general, don't save, I'll delete all this, file import that warrior character, and I'll just immediately file export uh, GLB, spit him right back out just to make him a GLB, I'll name him uh, warrior, export. I'm keeping the textures on this guy this time because it'll look better. Bring him in. And then we need to point the, the bone map to him. So we'll double click the warrior, 
click his skeleton, retarget the bone map using this Mixamo bone map, re-import. So now his bone map is the same as the Ybot, which means he can use the same animations. We'll drop the warrior in. I'll fix his transform so you can see him. All right. I'll right click and make him local. Select his animation player. You can see right now he's only got the T-pose animation, manage animations, load library, and I'll select that locomotion library I just made. Okay, and now he has all these same animations from the locomotion library that we just made. So you can jump, you can strafe, even though his body is completely different composition, his arms are much longer than his legs, it did not matter, the bone map remapped it, applying it to this mesh. So you can real quickly take the characters, your own characters that you've made of whatever shape, uh, upload them in the Mixamo, give them a Mixamo skeleton, download them in the T-Pose, uh, point the bone map to them in Godot, and give them any animation library that you want to save. And if you have several animation libraries, like this is just the locomotion library we just made, but I've got another animation library right here. I'll drag and drop in. This is a, a zombie library that I made earlier. Um, I will click Animation, Manage Animations, Load Library, and I'll grab that library file. And then just like that, this character now has the locomotion library we made, but also this entire zombie animation library. So now he's got all the, the dying animations from the zombie animation, or the, the kick from the zombie. Short little legs for a, for a kick. And there you go, just like that, you can uh, make your own libraries, and if you want to mix and match them, you can. You can manage these libraries by you know, deleting animations that you don't need to reduce bloat if you're not going to use certain, certain animations. And then if you do make libraries that you like better, you, know, you can mix and match and save and copy them into one another and, and produce your own uh, mixed libraries for a specific character that you've made. Um, I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't really care if you like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm actually a musician, so if you want to support me, check out Bones in the Walls, either on Bandcamp, Spotify, wherever you stream music. Um, we're selling and streaming everywhere, so feel free to check us out. Uh, maybe I can make some music for your games, who knows. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys make, let me know what you think, and have a good one.